legally blind. What's up? It's Sam. I am just quickly. Hi, Sadie. What's up? Hey, baby. I'm just very quickly gonna film a like five minute video on this bag that I forgot to put in my Amazon haul. It's kind of like a leg holster bag. There are a few different ways to wear it, so when I was looking at the Amazon reviews and everything like that, a lot of people were really confused about how to wear it and how the straps go. So I figured I would make a little video trying to figure it out with you because I've, I've tried it on a couple times and the straps are a little bit confusing. What's wrong? It came with a thing that I had no idea what it was for until I looked it up. I've been doing my own little research. So yeah, let's just try to figure this thing out together. So first of all, let's look at what comes. Hey, I'm filming a video. You either cooperate or you need to leave. Anyway, it comes with a few different things. First of all, it just has like two little compartments. It has one here and it has a front pocket here. I bought this because I do go to like concerts and like music festivals and stuff like that, especially now that it's the summer, probably be going to a few shows, and I don't necessarily want to have like a purse with me, or a backpack even, because like I just get paranoid sometimes like when I have a backpack on that like I'm not going to be paying attention and someone can just grab shit out of my bag. I'm just really paranoid about that, so I always like put it on the front of me and that looks dorky. I do have like a backpack and stuff that I use for festivals, but I thought that this would be a cool a cool little addition to my bag collection. Uh, just because it'll be easier to like keep stuff on me, it's not really super bulky despite how it looks. And it'll always just be like in my line of sight, so that was really important to me. It comes with this longer strap that you put here on the top like this the, for the first way which you can wear which is kind of like a crossbody bag this longest strap goes around your leg you just put it on like that wrap it around and put it on the other side so this is the first way you could tighten the strap obviously but I don't feel like doing that right now I've seen a couple different ways of doing the strap for this uh, second method but the way that I've just been doing it is I've just been looping one end of this strap in and kind of folding the strap over in half and then just wrapping it around myself a little body and then just hooking both ends of the strap onto these little hoops. So this is kind of the way that I plan on wearing it most of the time. You can always adjust it. It has like a lot of little hoops and stuff like that, so it can accommodate a lot of different body sizes, which is really cool. So what we're going to have to figure out now is the third way to wear it, which I'm still not 100% clear on, where basically you wear it like a backpack. Let's see how this goes. So this is the third thing that comes with the bag, which I was like, oh, what the fuck is this for? Basically, it's to make a little backpack. And I just have to see if I can accomplish this by myself with no help. <laughs> so I actually have no idea if I even need this strap. This doesn't seem right. You know what? I'm not even gonna wear this bag with this anyway. Steampunk. Gothic waist bag, retro rock shoulder bag, women's vintage leather leg bag. That's what it's called on Amazon in case you were curious and you didn't see my description box in my last video. I see, I see. We're not 100% see what's going on. The smallest strap stays on the bottom and it goes around your whole ass waist, which um, this method is not going to work for all different body types. So what's even the point of me showing this right now? I'm about to suffocate. Okay. And then... Then, this part is supposed to go like all the way around and then to the back. Okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. Now we're cooking and I'm looping it behind me and, also, and up and around. So it's kind of like a harness deal going on. This is not really a feasible bag design, gotta be honest. I don't think this is right anyway. The cross is supposed to go on the back. I'm just gonna show you how it's supposed to look in the back. Then you're supposed to 
just fold this over and clip it like so so that the straps stay in place and they don't really move around I'm gonna take this off now because it's highly uncomfortable so that was you know pretty much the gist of how this strange bag operates as I said I probably will not be wearing it a third way as a backpack uh, just because it doesn't really seem like it's feasible to go through all that setup and it's not really what I ordered it for in the first place so I'm sorry if that's what you came here to find out but um, I did say we were gonna figure it out together and what we figured out is that there are a couple cool ways to wear this bag let's stick with them all in all it's a really cool bag I think it's like pretty good quality we'll probably be including it in a in my upcoming lookbook which I mentioned in my last video and that will be up very soon hopefully so keep an eye out for that thank you for watching this kind of random pointless useless video at the very least making up for the fact that i didn't include this in my haul even though it's one of the biggest things that i was most excited about anyway that's about it leave me a comment telling me how ridiculous i look <laughs> trying to put this bag on and go ahead and <laughs> like and subscribe if you haven't already, that'd be awesome. And I'll see you for my next video. Later.